Welcome to this presentation about Control Bridge, a workflow system that uses the existing programs in Adobe CS3. By incorporating plugins, we have greatly enhanced and simplified how you can use Bridge and Version Q for version handling and PDF reviews. The main idea is to create a task-driven workflow based on an InDesign document. The following demonstration is done on a Mac. There are no differences for Windows users besides appearance. In this demonstration, we will be using the following programs. Version Q as our file server, Bridge as our workflow interface, InDesign for layout and design work, InCopy for text editing, and Acrobat for PDF reviews. This diagram shows how a theoretical collaborative project could appear. Different members of the team are using different programs with different responsibilities. Despite different locations, each member has the ability to follow the process and actively take part. In this particular example, we will be playing the role of three different team members. An art director using InDesign, a reviewer or perhaps a customer with Acrobat, and a copywriter using InCopy. The art director uses Bridge to browse for and select the version Q network server. This is done just as you would use any other file browser. He then navigates to a particular project and selects the InDesign document. In most cases, this is all a user will see regarding the files on a server. However, by choosing the document and then selecting the Control Bridge versions panel, users are presented with all of the information relevant to the project, such as version tracking, status, comments, thumbnails, and who has been responsible for which changes. In the Control Bridge Tasks panel, the art director can see the different tasks that have been assigned to the document. In this case, another member of the team has entered two tasks. The red circle indicates that these tasks have yet to be acted upon. In this case, Mary Moore thinks the cover might look better in black and offers an idea regarding the headline placement. In the Control Bridge Image Links panel, you will see a list of the images and illustrations used in a document and which page they are located on. Selecting an image will show you a preview. Using the Control Bridge Pages panel, you can even display the entire document page by page. To check out and open a document for editing, click on the Open button. The document downloads and opens in InDesign. You'll be prompted to log in for access to the document if you have not already done so using your version Q name and password. As you can see, the status of the document has now been changed to locked, thereby preventing multiple users from editing the same document at the same time. The tasks that were previously mentioned can be found in the Control Tasks panel. Double-clicking on them will take you to the page where they are located. Here is the headline that Mary Moore thought would look better if the art director moved it to the left. The art director doesn't agree and rejects the task by changing its status. Mary also thinks the cover will look better in black. The art director is inclined to agree and makes the change and resolves the task. The art director is now done with the document and is ready to check it in. He or she leaves a comment and since the project is nearing completion, decides to start a review. By clicking OK, the document is checked in, a PDF is generated, and the document closes. Since a review has been initiated, a dialog box with a list of team members in the project appears. The members that should be notified are selected and an email is created in the user's default email program. This is simply a text containing information and links. The email is sent to the selected reviewer. The reviewer receives the invitation and clicks on the link. To access the PDF, the user must first log in to the version Q project. PDF is opened and displayed directly in the web browser.
things look good, but there is one change that needs to be made on page 4. The reviewer adds a sticky note suggesting that the headline be changed and then selects send and receive comments. A new task is now created and displayed in the Control Bridge Tasks panel which can be seen by all members of the team. The copywriter, who is responsible for the text, takes action and opens the document within copy. Because the user has the Crosstalk plugin, they can easily and quickly edit the InDesign file. The file opens, and just as in InDesign, the Control Tasks panel shows the remaining tasks. The sticky note that was created in the PDF review is now found in the InDesign document. The copywriter changes the headline according to the reviewer's suggestion and resolves the task. When the editing is complete, the document is checked in, a simple preset comment is chosen, and the user selects to create a PDF. Here we can see the versions that have been changed and their comments, as well as whether or not a PDF is available. The Control Bridge Tasks panel reflects the status of each task. These can be filtered any way the user chooses. To view a PDF, simply select a version of the document and click Open PDF. Here we can see the final version of the project. This was only a brief overview of what Control Bridge can do. For more info, don't hesitate to contact us by phone or email. And thank you for watching.